You still don't know anything about Georgi Sudakov and don't understand why all the English Premier League giants Barcelona and the top Serie A sides want him. Get ready, we will give you all the most interesting things about the new Ukrainian prodigy who will outshine Mikhailo Mudrik and Alexander Zinchenko. After watching this video, you will be fascinated by Sudakov's game and your expectations will skyrocket. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go! Georgi Sudakov is a midfielder for Shakhtar and the Ukraine national team, who will be the next big sale for the Donetsk club. He started his football career at the youth academy of medalist Kharkiv, but quickly moved to Shakhtar and since 2017 playing as a central of attacking midfielder. He has been rapidly climbing the career ladder, surprising the coaches of youth teams. Sudakov began to be properly noticed after his performance performance for the U17 and U19 teams. In the 2018-19 season, Georgi made his debut in the UEFA Youth Champions League and helped Shakhtar's U17 team become the Ukrainian champions. At the same time, he was named the best player of the final part of the local youth football league. In the 2019-2020 campaign, Sudakov progressed to the more competitive second team of Shakhtar. Stability quickly earned the Ukrainian an invitation to the main site. On October 24, 2020, Georgi made his debut in the Ukrainian league, and six days later, on October 30, he scored his first goal in the competition. The midfielder's play gradually attracted the attention of the national team coaches. So, on April 3, 2021, Georgi received a call from the then head coach of Ukraine, Andriy Shevchenko, and made his debut for the Blue and Yellows in a friendly game against Bahrain on May 23. On June 1st, he was included in the national team squad for Euro 2020, yes, just months after the first call. Sudakov's rapid career jumps might have made him a little dizzy, but he's a tall cookie. After the Euros, he had a significant breakthrough at the club level at Shakhtar, finishing the 2021-22 season with 14 appearances in all competitions and four goals. The next football year was even better for him – 39 matches, 5 goals and 11 assists. In the 2020-23 season, Sudakov played all six matches of the Champions League group stage, registering two assists and made his way to the top 40 young talents of the year, according to UEFA. This season, Sudakov is building on his success. He has scored five goals and provided two assists in 25 matches in all competitions, with his best performances coming in the Champions League group stage against Barcelona. In the first match in Spain, however, he scored a goal, and in the return leg, Sudakov launched an attack with a fabulous long ball that turned out to be not just a goal, but the winning goal for Shakhtar that night. This pass is worth your legs. Sudakov's never-ending triumphs because a trigger for the big players in the transfer market who have been actively interested in Georgi since last fall. Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Barcelona, Juventus and Napoli started sending inquiries about the midfielder, but he decided to stay at Shakhtar signing a new deal until June 30, 2028. Later, the player revealed the truth. There were official proposals from Juventus and Napoli. Shakhtar turned down 40 million euros from Napoli. At first, I was a little disappointed, then I understood the club's reasons. They obviously want to get more from my sale. I agreed to renew until winter 2028 with a higher salary and very favorable conditions because I trust the president and our our CEO, Serhii Palkin. He told me that maybe in six months or a year I will go to Europe. Of course, the Sudakov transfer saga did not end there. Instead, it flared up even more. But we'll leave that for dessert. Now we need to clarify Georgi's profile and his true value. 
Sudakov's strength are undoubtedly his dribbling, equally good use of both feet, vision, technique, set pieces and teamwork. The Ukrainian is able to cover three positions – attacking midfielder, central and left midfielder, where he is most comfortable when he has freedom of movement in the 4-3-3 formation and looks for three areas between the lines on his own. Currently, Sudakov plays as a number 8 at Shakhtar. In every match, he boldly tries to run at opponents, beat them and open up space for his teammates or look for an opportunity to shoot himself. That's pretty much how he does it. This season, Sudakov is averaging 5.63 progressive passes and 2.13 progressive carries per 90 minutes, along with 3.25 shot-creating actions. His take-ons starts are also pleasing – 3.1 per game. It should also be noted that at Shakhtar, here he takes corners and penalties, hitting from the spot requires a lot of nerves and the ability to cope well with pressure, and fortunately, 21-year-old Sudakov has it. Getting lost in the most important matches is not about him. On the contrary, in the playoff final for Euro 2024, when the Ukrainian national team needed Hawarhi the most, he showed a real master class against Iceland in the decisive match, where a ticket to the final part of the Euros in Germany was a stake. Sudakov made two assists, made three take-ons more than anyone on the pitch, created four chances more than anyone on the the pitch, won seven duels and earned four falls, also more than anyone in the match. No worries, just brilliance. However, he gained his mental strength by following Jose Mourinho, one of the footballers two favorite quads belong to the special one. Pressure? Pressure of what? Pressure is uh, millions of people in, in the world, so many to, to buy food for their children. That's pressure, not in football. Still think that a guy with such skills and psychology is not ready for the top European league? Then we're going to break down your last doubts. For a long time now, Shakhtar have been skillfully fooling interest and artificially inflating the price of their key player through clever news stories. In February, the miners managed to re-sign Sudakov's contract until December 2028. It seemed that it was a formality. The contract length was extended by only a couple of months. But later on his social media, Shakhtar CEO Serhii Palkin playfully hinted that big European clubs would now have to pay 150 million euros in compensation for Hiroji. Italian insider Fabrizio Romano also adds to Sudakov's popularity. The chief transfer expert has become the biggest supporter and, if you will, a PR manager of the Ukrainian player. Romano often mentions Sudakov in his publications, writes about his new achievements and possible career options, and just pops in to compliment Hiroji in comments. Fabrizio usually characterizes Sudakov as Ukrainian top talent, and after the Ukraine-Iceland match, he even used the word genius. This kind of promotion really works. This year, Shakhtar's midfielder is being monitored by Arsenal and Chelsea. Alexander Zinchenko and Mikhail Mudrik are especially energetic in calling Sudakov to the Premier League. The Arsenal defender draws an interesting parallel. However, he reminds me a lot of Phil Foden. They are similar in terms of their style of play. They are low, poses the ball and are playmakers. They have a similar way of playing. I hope that Sudakov will join Arsenal. Well, Chelsea winger has his own wishes. Sudakov and Chelsea. It would be very cool, Mudrik believes. However, he doesn't mind ending up at Stamford Bridge either. Misha is a close friend of mine and we talk a lot. I have already received some valuable advice from him in case I move to England. How to adapt, how to get into the rhythm of the game – it's very useful for me. He recommends moving to a top league, such as a Premier League, as soon as possible, because it helps you develop faster, both physically and psychologically. Mihailo has a huge potential, and maybe one of the reasons why you haven't seen him at the highest level in England yet is that, as he said, Chelsea don't have a player like me who would constantly provide crosses and assists. Our tandem might have reunited, Sudakov emphasized. 
So the Ukrainian summer transfer is almost a done deal. Only the club and the amount of money Shakhtar will earn remain in question. We have no doubt that after Mudrik it will be crazy money for the Donetsk team again. We expect Sudakov to perform well for Ukraine at Euro 2024 and urge you friends to write in the comments which top team would suit her or he best. Like, subscribe and look forward to the next episodes on Football Club. Bye!